Today is Saturday, September 25th, 2021, and we'll be taking a look at the value loyalty and how it might be preventing you from getting better at Aikido. You heard me. Being loyal just might be preventing you from getting better at Aikido. Why is that? Wouldn't you think that being loyal might help you get better at Aikido? Well, that all depends on what or who you're loyal to. We all want to be loyal to protect your friends and family, even though they might be doing something wrong. For example, I'm loyal to my friend, so I'm going to go help him rob a home. We have this brotherhood. I see that all the time in dojos. Loyalty and respect are two completely different things that we sometimes mix up. When a student takes a beautiful high fall for a sensei, even though that sensei's technique is pretty weak, that's a show of loyalty. I've heard it time and time again. Aikido dojos are like cults. And yeah, that might be true to a certain extent. Let's take a look at the definition of loyalty. The Google Dictionary defines loyalty as a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Another definition I got online, the state or quality of being loyal, faithfulness to commitments or obligations. For example, I'm obliged to take that high fall. Pretty simple and straightforward, right? Well, that loyalty can definitely get in the way of actually getting better at Aikido. What if you attacked your instructor and he couldn't do the technique? Would you have less respect for him or her? How would you feel? I love it when my students attack me and I struggle with the technique. I had a student that was kicked out of a dojo when he was visiting because I accidentally taught him to give honest, sincere attacks. And when the other instructor couldn't do the technique, he misunderstood my student's intentions and asked him to leave. I guess his students were taught to be loyal by falling when the technique was performed, even if it didn't work. I guess this begs the question then, what should you be loyal to? Have you ever heard this quote? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Where is your loyalty? Are you loyal to the idea of the technique actually working? Or are you loyal to your sensei? Now remember, loyalty and respect are two completely different things. You should always show respect for your sensei, to your elders, to your senpais, and your kohais. You can show them that respect by being honest with them. You can increase your level and the overall level of Aikido by being loyal to making the technique work. Some people might misunderstand you and think you're trying to humiliate them, but in fact, you are showing your true loyalty and faithfulness. A while back, I asked a student to teach one of my classes when I couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to perform the technique on a student, and he proceeded to put the student down in front of the class threatening her. I was so disappointed when I heard about this. It really broke my heart because I'd been teaching everyone to give honest attacks. I understand when an instructor is trying to show a specific movement or other with no resistance from the attacker, but that can kindly be asked for of the student. Hey, don't attack me so hard. I just want to show a movement and let's try it with a strong attack after. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's going to help you get better at Aikido. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you'd like to get an email from me directly when I upload new videos, click on the link in my description to register your email address with me, and I'll drop you an email when I upload a new video.